normalization stands on its own as a well-founded approach to database design. A well-normalized design tends to perform poorly when subjected to large volumes of transactions. For this reason, there are trade-offs to be made between the extent to which a design is normalized and the performance response of the implemented system. Why should we attempt to normalize data? A normalized data often contains undesirable redundancy and different degrees of normalization can guarantee that certain creation, update, and deletion anomalies can be avoided. Determinant when the value of one attribute allows us to identify the value of another attribute in the same relation, this first attribute is called a determinant. The determinant of a value might not be the primary key. This is true for groups of attributes as well. So, if A is the determinant of B, A and B may be either be single attributes or more than one attribute. Transitive, indirect dependency. Sometimes, the value of an attribute is not determined directly from the primary key, but through the value of another attribute, which is determined by the primary key. This relationship is known as a transitive dependency. Composite determinant. If more than one value is required to determine the value of another attribute, the combination of values is known as a composite determinant. Partial dependency. If the value of an attribute does not depend on an entire composite determinant, but only part of it, that relationship is known as a partial dependency. Multiple determinants. It is possible that there may be more than one attribute that can act as a determinant for other attributes. Overlapping determinants. There are sometimes cases where there is more than one combination of attributes that uniquely identifies a particular record. This means that the determinants have attributes in common. In certain circumstances, there may be a special relationship between the attributes so that each uniquely determines the value of the other. When a database solution to a problem is required, normalization is the process which is used to ensure that data is structured in a logical and robust format. The most common transformations are from a normalized data through first and second to third normal form. More advanced transformations are possible, including Boyce Scott, fourth and fifth normal forms. If we consider the data before it has undergone the normalization process, we can regard the data as a normalized first normal form 1 in f. A relation is in first normal form if there is only one value at the intersection of each row and column. Repeating groups in an unnormalized table of data are converted to first normal form by replacing them with tuples where each attribute has a single entry. In order to convert an unnormalized relation into first normal form, we must identify the key attribute involved. Determine a C diagram for first normal form. The information represented in these four categories, that is, performer, agent, venue, and booking, can be displayed in a single diagram for first normal form, that is, 1NF. The combined determinacy diagram above for first normal form shows performer attributes, agent attributes, venue attributes, event attributes, and that booking details depend on all four key attributes. Here is a diagram of the full determinacy for first normal form showing the overlapping keys. The aim of converting an unnormalized table of data into first normal form is to remove repeating values. Insertion anomalies of first normal form. There is a problem in selecting a suitable key for the table in its current format. If we wish to insert details in a first normal form, we need to be able to identify the key attribute and determine a value for the key for the new record for it to be entered as a tuple in the relation. There is no obvious choice for a primary key. 
the attributes that we might expect to be able to use as a key are unsuitable because a value is not always available and it is not possible to have a key field with a null or empty value because of the requirements of entity integrity. Amendment Anomalies of First Normal Form There is a problem in updating values in a table in First Normal Form. If there is more than one entry in the relation, any change to that individual's details must be reflected in all such entries. Otherwise, the data will become inconsistent. Second Normal Form the process of converting a relation from first normal form into second normal form is the identification of the primary keys and the grouping of attributes that relate to the key together. This means that attributes that depend on different keys will now appear in a separate relation where each attribute depends only on the key, whether directly or indirectly. The purpose of converting the relation into second normal form is to resolve many of the problems identified with first normal form. For a relation to be in second normal form, all attributes must be fully functionally dependent on the primary key. Data items which are only partial dependencies, as they are not fully functionally dependent on the primary key, need to be extracted to form new relations. The single relation in first normal form, 1NF is transformed into four relations in second normal form, working from the 1NF determinacy diagram. Performers, Agents, Venues, and Bookings Performer Details All data relating to performers is now grouped separately from Agents, Venues, Events, and Bookings. The Determinacy Diagram for Performer Details gives us a performer relation in second normal form. The primary key for the performer relation is Performer ID, and the other attributes are Names, Performer Type, Fee, and Location. The creation of an independent new relation for performers has the following benefits, which resolve the problems encountered with the single relation in first normal form. New performers can be inserted even if they have no bookings. A single amendment will be sufficient to update performer details even if several bookings are involved. The deletion of a performer record will not result in the loss of details concerning agents, venues, or events, as performers, agents, venues, and events are now stored independently of each other. Agent Details The information concerning agents is now stored separately from that for performers, venues, and bookings. The Determinacy Diagram for Agents gives us a relation for agents in second normal form. The primary key for the agent's relation is agent ID, and the remaining attributes are name and location. The new relation for agents has the following benefits, which resolve the problems encountered with a single relation in first normal form, because it is independent from performers, venues, and bookings. New agents can be inserted even if they have made no bookings. A single change will be enough to update agent details even if several bookings are involved. Agent details will now no longer be lost if a performer is deleted as performers, agents, venues, and events are now stored independently of each other. Venue details The creation of a new relation solely to store the details of venues has the following effects, which resolve the problems identified with a single relation in first normal form. Details of a new venue can be inserted, whether or not it has been booked. If the name of the venue is changed, the alteration only needs to be made once in the venue relation, not for every booking of that venue. If details of a performer are deleted, and the performer had the only booking at a particular venue, details of the venue will not be lost. A new relation is created to hold details of individual events. Details of a new event can be inserted, whether or not it has been booked. If the name of the event has changed, the alteration only needs to be made once in the event relation, not for every booking of that event. VIF details of a performer are deleted, and the performer had the only booking of a particular event. Details of the event will not be lost. Booking details 
Every time a booking is made, the details are recorded in the relation called bookings. There is no need to store all the details of the performer, agent, venue, and event for each booking that is made, as this information can be acquired from the relevant relation for performers, agents, venues, and event. The information that is needed for the booking relation is the performer ID, agent ID, venue ID, and event ID. These four attributes together form the key for this relation and the booking date. Insertion Anomalies of Second Normal Form We cannot enter a fee for a type of performer unless there is a performer of that type already present in the relation in second normal form. The reason for this is that if there is no existing performer of that type, there will be no performer ID value available as a key. If we want to add that acrobats are paid 65 in whatever currency, we cannot do so unless we are able to enter complete details for a specific individual. Note that this performer would not have to have a booking, but there must be at least one person associated with a performer type before. Amendment Anomalies of Second Normal Form If Performer Stokes, Performer ID 126, who is the only comedian in the relation, retrains, and changes career to become a magician, we will then lose the information that comedians are paid a fee of 90 in whatever currency is used. Stokes will then be paid 72, which is the fee for all magicians. We would also find an amendment anomaly if the fee paid to a particular type of performer changed. If all singers were granted a new rate, all tuples relating to singers would need to be updated, otherwise the data would become inconsistent. Deletion Anomalies of Second Normal Form If Gomez, the only musician in the relation, decides to retire, we will lose the information regarding the fee of 92 pay to musicians. All these anomalies are caused by the fee paid to the performer being dependent on the performer type and not directly on the primary key performer ID. This indirect or transitive dependency can be resolved by transforming the relations in second normal form into third normal form by extracting the attributes involved in the indirect dependency into a separate new relation. Third normal form The reason for converting a table from second normal form into third normal form is to ensure that date depends directly on the primary key and not through some other relationship with another attribute known as an indirect or transitive dependency. A relation is in third normal form if there are no indirect or transitive dependencies between the attributes. For a relation to be in third normal form, all attributes must be directly dependent on the primary key. An indirect dependency is resolved by creating a new relation for each entity. These new relations contain the transitively dependent attributes together with the primary key. The conversion of a relation into third normal form will resolve anomalies identified in second normal form. We now have six relations in third normal form. Performers Fees Agents Venues Event and bookings. Performer details. As before, the name and location of each performer depends on the performer ID. We noticed in second normal form that there were problems associated with having the fee contained within the performer relation as the value of the fee depended on the performer type and not on performer ID, demonstrating a transitive dependency. One solution would be to create a new relation with performer type as the key and the fee as the other attribute, performer type would also remain in the relation performers, but the fee would be removed. Agent Details There is no change to the determinacy diagram for agents, as this is already in third normal form, there were no transitive dependencies. The relation follows the determinacy diagram below. Venue Details the data on venues is already in third normal form, as there were no transitive dependencies. There are therefore no changes to the determinacy diagram shown below. Event details. 
the event's relation is already in third normal form, as there are no transitive dependencies. There is the special relationship that exists between the attributes event ID and event name, which does not present a problem within the event's relation itself, but creates difficulties in the booking's relation because of the overlapping key which results. Booking details. The relation bookings with its composite determinants of performer ID, agent ID, venue ID, and event ID, or performer ID, agent ID, venue ID, and event name is already in third normal form as there are no transitive dependencies. This determinacy diagram illustrates the combination of performer ID, agent ID, venue ID, and event ID used as the determinant for the bookings relation.